Hi everyone and welcome to today's video. Did you know that there are 8 steps to create accurate and efficient content moderation filters? If you follow these 8 steps, you will be able to have a solid moderation setup using accurate automated filters on your site. Some of our clients have reached numbers all the way up to 80% of automation just by using filters alone. So in today's video, I will share these eight steps with you to help you create your own accurate and efficient moderation filters for your site and your unique needs. It will also improve your automation rates and help you save costs. So let's jump straight into step number one, mission. Start with defining the goal of your filter. What is it that you want to catch and keep off your site? When you have decided the goal of your filter, make sure to name it to something descriptive. Because you will likely end up having a bunch of different filters for your site. So it's important that you make it easy for you to know what the filter is at the first glance. Let's use an example. Let's say that we want to remove or prevent illegal drugs from your site. We would then create a filter and name that filter into something like drugs or preventing drugs, prevent drugs or something else that you find it easy to understand what the filter is. Let's move on to step number two, local adjustment. Make sure to check laws and regulations of the country your site is operating in. And keep in mind that laws can vary widely depending on the country and sometimes even by the region you're operating in. In Spain, for example, it is in fact legal to sell the grow box for cannabis and cannabis seeds. However, it is not legal, it is illegal to sell the plant itself. So it's important that you are sure of the laws and regulations that are relevant for your company in the country or region where you are operating in. Step three, action. Here is when you decide on the action you want the filters to take. Should it refuse, send to manual moderation, or is this just a test filter that shouldn't take any action other than highlighting the ads that would have been caught? Testing the filter with a no action decision is always a good idea to make sure that the filter is working just as you hoped. This is something that I will touch on later on in this video as well. In our content moderation tool, Implio, the default setting is to accept any content that does not match the filter. However, you are of course in full control of the content that actually matches the filter. Step four, list. Create a list of related keywords to the goal of your filter. To use our previous example, which was detecting and preventing illegal drugs from your site, we would create a list of drug-related keywords to keep off your site, such as cocaine, heroin, cannabis, etc. And make sure to include any slang words used for, for drugs by your users. Step five. Rule. It's now time to set up your rule. Make sure that the rule pulls from the list and that you add exceptions to avoid false positives. For example, in step two, I mentioned that it is legal to sell cannabis seeds in Spain. In that scenario, you need to add cannabis plus seeds to the list. It is at this stage when you have created a filter. Congratulations. However, it's basically now when the journey begins. The journey towards accuracy and high efficiency. Step six, quality control. Now it's time to test your filter. As mentioned earlier in step three, just set no action as the decision to take. Upload your data into Implio and review the matches. Did you get any false positives? You most likely did. And don't worry, that is great. That's why we run these tests. It's to assure the quality of the filter. 
Step 7. Exceptions. Take all the false positives you got from the quality control and make sure to add them as exceptions. This is called whitelisting content. But take your time and think over which phrases and wordings that you add to the whitelist because you don't want any unwanted content to pass through the filter. Step 8. Rinse and repeat. This step is all about perfection. Once you've added the new exceptions, run your data again and control the quality of the updated filter. Repeat steps 6 to 8 for as many times as you have to to reach the quality rate that you want. Here at Peseiro, we aim for at least a minimum of 95% accuracy. However, most of our filters reach even higher levels than that. With these eight steps, you are now well equipped to create your very own accurate filters. It doesn't matter if you're using your in-house tool or an all-in-one content moderation tools like ours, Implio. You have a great funda foundation to build efficient filter moderation for your site. If you want to improve your abilities in filter management even further, we offer training sessions where our filter managers will teach all about our regular expressions and rule crafting through step-by-step -step guides and different exercises. I also encourage all of you to download the eight steps to accurate filter checklist in the link here below. Here you'll have all the steps I just walked you through in an easy to follow checklist to help you create your very own filters. You can also, of course, sign up for Implio for free to start testing your new knowledge of filter creation. All right, guys, that's what I have for you today. I hope you are ready to create filters for your site. Feel free to subscribe to our YouTube channel. All the best. Bye bye.